So the next function that we're going to take a look at here is very similar to the VLOOKUP, but this one is called the HLOOKUP. So the VLOOKUP, remember that one stood for vertical. It's going to search a list in the first column. It's going to look vertically through that first column, and then it's going to return something in the row. Remember the row or the column index num is what it wanted to return back to us. Now the H lookup, what do you think? Horizontal. This one, very similar to the V lookup, vertical, horizontal, we're gonna search a list horizontally, and then we're gonna return something back to it based on a row index num. So let's take a look at what the H lookup can do for us. So in this example, I'm looking at the H lookup fun function worksheet, and we're also gonna look at the master inventory list. These two are gonna to go together, kind of like the H or the V lookup that we looked at earlier. Now, what we wanna do is we've got this product code, XP200. That product code is stored, its actual product is stored into three different warehouses, and they all have different inventory. So for XP200, warehouse inventory one is 150 units. I can go over to the master inventory list and I can see this here. XP200, there's the product code, and then the three warehouses, 150 for warehouse number one. Now, same idea as the VLOOKUP. Somebody gives you a product and they wanna know the different inventory numbers. Well, I can do that manually, right? I can say it's XP200, I can go over to the master inventory list, I can go search for it horizontally through this first row, find it, and then return one of these row values back. Right, copy, paste, whatever I'm gonna do. Well, let's get a function to do it for us. All right, again, this is gonna look very similar to the VLOOKUP that we just looked at. Now, this one's already done. Warehouse inventory one, it's right there. You can use it as a reference point if you like. I'm gonna drop down a cell and I'm gonna create this one as we go through this lecture. So this is warehouse inventory for, or warehouse two inventory for this product. All right, so I'm inside of B3 or B6. I'm gonna start the function equals H lookup. There it is. Now, just like the V lookup, it's got one, two, three, four arguments that it wants us to fill out. Now, again, to make this a little bit easier to see, I'm gonna go hit the FX button. There it is. So first thing it wants to know is, well, what do you want me to look for in order to find the inventory number? Well, the lookup value is gonna be cell B3. Now, later on, again, I'm gonna copy this formula. I wanna be able to drop it down into the next row. Well, I wanna make that absolute. B3 should always be the lookup value. So I'm gonna click into there, F4, put the dollar signs in, and we're gonna make both the column and the row absolute. It should be an absolute cell B3. Now, the next thing it wants to know is the table array. Where am I gonna to look to find this? Well, here, click in the table array. I'm gonna to go to master inventory list, and I'm gonna go click on the entire list. I'm gonna get A2 all the way down to G5. All right, and we're gonna make that absolute. A2 to G5, F4, absolute. Now the next thing it wants to know is the row index. So I'll click into there. Remember, we're looking for XP200, but then we wanna return warehouse two inventory. So I'll click into there, I'll go back to the master inventory list. Let's shrink this window a little bit. So the H lookup is gonna look inside the first row of our table array, find the XP200, and then it's gonna return a specific row back to us. Warehouse two is in the one, two, third row down. Okay. So for my for my in row index num, I'm gonna put the number three. All right, last thing. If you did the V lookup, same idea here, range lookup. Do you wanna find the exact match or do you wanna find the closest thing to it if it can't find the exact? Well, I wanna find the exact. So I'm gonna say false and that's it. What are you looking for? Where am I gonna look for it? Which row do you wanna return back to you once I found it? And do you want the exact match? I'll hit okay. And 110, let's just make sure. For XP200, warehouse inventory, warehouse two inventory, XP200, warehouse two, 110. We got it, we're gold. That's it right there, that's the H lookup. Should feel very similar to the V lookup. Okay? 
of the two, I would say the VLOOKUP is the more common one. But it really depends on how you want to search your list. Do you want to search it vertically? Do you want to search it horizontally? All right, try it out. Jump into cell B7 and complete that one. Right, go through the steps, fill out the four things, get it to look up the information for you. This is Excel's H lookup function.